Was down by Brannigan's corner one morning I did stray. I met a fellow rebel, and to me he did say, We've orders from the captain to assemble at Dunbar. But how are we to get there without a motor car? Oh, Barney, dear, be of good cheer, I'll tell you what we'll do. The specials, they are plentiful, the IRA are few. We'll send a wire to Johnson to meet us at Strandlair. And we'll give the boys a bloody good ride in Johnson's motor car. When Dr. Johnson heard the news, he soon put on his shoes. He says this is an urgent case, there is no time to lose. He then put on his caster hat and on his breast a star. You can hear the din all through Glenfin of Johnson's motor car. But when he got to the railway bridge, some rebels he saw there. Old Johnson knew the game was up, for at him they did stare. He said, I have a permit to travel near and far. To hell with your English permit, we want your motor car. What will my local brethren think when they all hear the news? My car, it has been commandeered by the rebels at Dunluz. We'll give you a receipt for it, all signed by Captain Barr. And when Ireland gets her freedom, boy, you'll get your motor car. Well, we put that car in motion and filled it to the brim. With guns and bayonets shining, which made old Johnson grim. And Barney hosting a Sinn Féin flag and it fluttered like a star. And we gave three cheers for the IRA and Johnson's motor car. Hey! Woo. All right. I keep speeding up. Sorry. That was fun. I, 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 I felt really good about that rendition.